Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today we're gonna to talk about how to do gesture drawing using the Andrew Loomis method. So this is not my own idea. And if you wanna know more about it, he's got great books that you can find at Amazon. But the basic idea is that you are going to draw a stick figure from observation using the major masses. You're going to get the spine, which is an S curve, the angle of the hips and the shoulders, and this might be in perspective. And then you attach simple legs, arms, and head. But once you've done this, you've gotten all the critical landmarks. This is maybe a simple looking skeleton, but it really shows everything you need. And then on top of this, from your imagination, you can add the musculature. But the pose itself, the action gesture, that is the important part. And that's where the observational drawing comes in. And you can capture all this in 60 seconds, so it's very efficient. So let's go through one of these drawings and you can see how it works. And then we're gonna break it down a bit on the next few run-throughs. So here we go. I'm gonna start by laying in the line that determines the angle of the hips. And then also a line where his feet are gonna be. And then I'm gonna throw in a head real quick. But here is the S-curve that I was talking about. And this is so central to the pose. Next, I'm just gonna lay in the quick legs. And even then I know something about the general proportions of the anatomy, what I'm looking at in the reference are the angles. What is the angle of the shoulders? What is the angle that the elbow makes the two parts of the arm? That's what you're looking at in your reference. And so here at slightly less than a minute, I'm essentially done. I've gotten most of the masses in place. And now of course I can add more musculature and whatever I can to use up the remainder of the minute. But I got a lot accomplished. So if I were to remove the reference at this point, I would then defer to my learned knowledge of anatomy. And I'll just build out the musculature on top of this scaffolding that I observed from the reference. But the beauty really is this skeleton. So let's do one more here. I'm going to start with the head. Head doesn't really need to be any particular shape, but that S-curve of the spine, that is important. The angle of the hips and the shoulders, those are important. And then you'll begin to get a sense for how the weight is carried throughout the pose. See here how the head sits between the two feet and makes sort of a triangle? Well, that means this character is balanced. He's not falling forward, he's not leaning backwards. And these are the kind of things you'll notice as you do more and more of these poses. But right here, I've essentially gotten all the information that I need. The rest I can do essentially from memory. Or if I had a longer time with my gesture drawing, I could use the reference to help me. But this is the important part. And here with this one, I'm using a much thicker brush and I'm doing sort of an action line. And this is the load bearing leg and the S curve combined in a single stroke. So you can really do this however you like. The important part is to be able to quickly gather a certain amount of information about a pose and then do the rest by memory. Because when you work this way, you're accomplishing a couple different goals, but one of them is teaching yourself a method, a way that you always construct characters. And what this means is that when you go to draw one completely from your imagination, you can follow the same abstraction. Because if all you ever do is carefully observe reference drawings and are very much a slave to capturing the exact contours, well, it's gonna be hard when you go to draw straight from memory. But if you can abstract the character into these basic steps, starting with a skeleton and then building, 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 well, then it's almost the same drawing it from your imagination as it is drawing it from reference. And also when you look at reference, you'll be able to imagine the construction underneath to see through the character and envision that simple skeleton. So I'd encourage you to go to posemaniacs.com and try out their 60 second drawings. Now it's gonna to default to doing 30 second drawings, which I find a little too quick, but 60 seconds is a great test. Try doing this for a half hour, maybe an hour. Get out a sketchbook, turn on Pose Maniacs, and you'll really get in a rhythm. 
This is a great exercise. So good luck, and thanks for coming to ControlPaint.com.